generation of great. The next generation of great. Let's go. I've been building up just to break them down. Got them looking like, wow, who the greatest if you've seen my first two episode reviews of Life is Strange Before the Storm, you already know how much I love this game. The first episode was a great start, and episode two is one of my favorite episodes in the entire Life is Strange franchise. Despite being a little rushed, the relationship and chemistry between Chloe Price and Rachel Ander Amber is the standout part of this game, and their chemistry is phenomenal, and it gives Max and Chloe from the original Life is Strange a run for their money. First of all, I'm going to talk about the character development in this game. This, in this episode, it re they really, really focus on the character development in this episode instead of focusing on everything else. And I really like how this episode had a different feel than the other ones. This one was a little more straightforward than the other two. The character development, in particular, Elliot's character development was what I really, really liked about the character development in this episode. Um, Elliot, really, in the first couple episodes, is kind of like a standby backup character, in my opinion. Kind of like a more, le had a lesser role. But in this episode, he really shines, and I really like that. How we're bringing more characters in and letting them have more and more, you know, time to shine. Um, now I'm going to talk about the first scene of the game. Um, the revelations quote-unquote revelations that were made and i also what i really like about this one this is one of the scenes that stood out to me by the way uh was the art style the art style was a little different than um what life is strange is used to and i thought that was a really really nice change and it was really nice to have this episode have a different feel than the other ones and that's one reason why i really really like this scene um another scene i really really like is the hospital scene where you're playing Dungeons and Dragons with Mikey and Steph. And I really like this because I really liked the first in the first episode the D&D scene and it really takes you back to that first episode and it takes you back to the old days when you used to play that game with your friends. I thought that was a really really cool scene and it it was an intense one honestly. But it's again, like I said in the first episode review, it's always nice to have something to do other than just like focus ma on main story. It's nice to have something on the side for a little bit. Like I said earlier, Rachel and Chloe's chemistry is some of the best I've ever seen in a video game. And it definitely does give Chloe and Max from the first game a run for their money. You can see how much Chloe loves Rachel and how much Chloe, uh, how much Rachel has changed Chloe's life. And I think that is awesome. And I really, really like their chemistry and everything they do. They just work so well together. And I, that's what I really, really like. Um, another thing I'm going to talk about is how I thought this was kind of like a thinking man's episode. Um, I really feel like the topic of manipulation is talked about as well, especially by Elliot. I'm not going to say what happens, but, um, it definitely tells you, do they really love you or are they just manipulating you? I really like the story they're trying to tell here. So that's just my honest opinion. All right. Now to talk about some negatives of this episode. Um, this is mainly technical, technical wise, because I did notice some slowdown in a couple of areas, um, particularly one of the first scenes of the game, but it wasn't really a big deal. It didn't really destroy the immersion, but I just did notice. I also did run into a couple of glitches, but it's not really worth, it's not really worth the time to really talk about it because it was a very minor glitch. So it's not really that big of a deal. Now back to the positives of this episode. I really like the ending of this one, despite it being anticlimactic, but I expected that. I expected it to be anticlimactic. Um, I really like how the choice at the end of the game that you have to make, um, is re it's a really good choice because there's not really a wrong answer. And I think that's great. It's, there's not really a wrong answer. And I did notice that it was still, while it's still divided, I feel like the ending is a lot better in some people's eyes than the original game because of the binary choice. There's still a binary choice, but the binary choice you make doesn't make everything in the game pointless, like some people thought in the original game. So, and, okay. Um, the question, the real question is, would you lie to a loved one to keep them happy? That was a really r real question at this end of this game, and I really noticed that. And this game, there were some parts that definitely did give you the quote, the feels. Um, the scene for me was the scene after, the second scene of the game when you're in Rachel's room 
and she's sitting on the bed crying, and you're having this emotional conversation and everything. That was the scene that really gave me the feels. I feel like episode three is a really, really good episode, and is definitely is definitely a little more straightforward than the rest of them, but I feel like it's just as good as the other ones, and definitely focuses more on just the main story and everything in that. So I'm going to give Life is Strange Before the Storm, episode 3, another 9 out of 10. Now I'm going to give my whole thoughts on the game as just the whole game. I feel like there was one major problem with this game um, as a whole. was just the It just felt a little bit rushed. Um, I'm okay with that. I know a lot of people aren't. But I think maybe if this would have been 4, maybe 5 episodes at best... It would have had a much better story and everything wouldn't have been rushed and all, everybody's characters would have been well defined. But other than that, I thought this was a great game. It was a very, very fun game and it was one of my favorite games that I've played in the last year. This is definitely my game of the year so far. So I'm going to give the game as a whole a 9 out of 10. We have one more episode to go, guys. Then that is going to be the farewell episode which is going to be coming out in early 2018 and i'm expecting tears in this one um it should be a really really good episode i'm hoping to god it's a good episode but i feel like they're going to go all out in this one and be, have it be really good so overall life is strange before the storm is a fantastic game definitely nine out of ten episode three nine out of ten so it's a perfect nine all across the board for each episode so I hope you guys enjoyed this series. We got one more episode to go after this one, guys. So I'll see you guys in the next one. Please comment, thumbs up, and subscribe. And turn on the post notifications as well. Thank you, guys.